Cognitive Self Branding Assessment 2 for Communication for Design with my tutor Tobias Blackwood. This is my contents page. It has my research, my concept designs, my design development, my final designs, and my reflection. Stage one was research. Just a bit about me. My name's Ella Hall Sullivan. I'm from Torquay. I'm 19. I I'm from Australia, my desired area of study would be interior architecture or interior design. Some words that describe me are tall, relaxed, comfortable, friendly, quiet, introvert. Activities which best describe me would be running, Pilates, beach, shopping, techno music, cooking, Japanese food, sleeping, reading. Preferences, I personally love the media of painting and drawing as I feel it can better make my artwork organic and illustration of me as an artist. A style I would love to try, I would love to do collage where I make smaller coloured images revealing a bigger picture. For my logos, I just went with the normal logos, some really common ones, word marks, um, letter forms, I really liked the abstract logo marks, the monograms and the emblems. Some fonts which I liked were quite quirky and organic, and organic ones. I like the simpler fonts, but the colours and the designs within them. Some colours. I went for a cooler colour palette with a lot of blues, browns and greens. Also a warmer colour palette with the orange, the yellow, the pinks, the golds. For normal self-branding, I chose to just choose the most common ones there were as in t-shirts, tote bags, cards, hats, keep cups, drink bottles. And for my creative self-branding, I chose to go off ones that are a bit more unique, like on flowers, lighters, playing cards, a cassette, on drinks, on little hand products, on little chairs, matches, ice cream tubs. My first stylescape, I chose to use the cooler colours and a bit more funky creative self-branding items like the cassettes and the blues and then for my fonts I chose to use the quite simplistic but quirky ones where it said the word but it had a bit of a quirk to it. And for my second stylescape I chose to use the cool, the warmer colour palettes with them and then I chose to use the matches, some more funky fonts and then I chose to use flowers or playing cards to portray this. My second stage was the concept design. My logo concept sketches, I chose to use my name but I chose to just use some like quite similar fonts to the ones I was using in my exploration. And then I chose to use just my like a monogram of my name using the letters and then I chose to play with some symbols but I didn't quite like them as much. My logo refined sketches I chose to do a monogram of the word Ella but I chose to only use one L and do an E, an L, L and A. And I also chose to use the font which said milk fat from my design as I thought it was a bit quirky but it wasn't my favourite of the two. For my mind mapping I chose to do my interests, my creative items, my origin, and then the name of the study. I chose to go off things like the lighter, the floaty, the shopping, the beach, my Italian heritage, things that I like to do like drawing, painting, collage. From then on, I did a more refined mind map and I thought of my favourite things and then I chose to do what I thought about them, like Pilates as in the yoga mat, Japanese food like sushi or dumplings or bento box and then like techno music like the DJ decks, the strobe lights, the records, the cooking, the spatulas, the utensils and the beach because that's where I'm from. I chose to go off like ice cream umbrellas, floaties, coral palm trees, all things that reminded me of the beach. For my refined list, I did that but I only used like the word sun cream or cooking utensil and I did like a sun cream shaped like sushi or a cooking utensil shaped like a lighter or a yoga mat to look like a bento box. And then for my self-branding sketches I chose to 
use those words from my refined list and then draw them as something that it wasn't. Like I chose that bento box as a yoga mat or the umbrella as sunscreen or a sushi rolling pin. Yeah. And these are my refined sketches. I chose to add colour and show how they would work. These are the sun cream ones or a lighter. I chose to do like a sushi where it would open up to sunscreen or an umbrella that would open up to be a lighter. And I also did the ones for a yoga mat. These ones are easier to do. I chose to do like a bento box because it has the same shape and it's quite similar. The ones for the sushi and the dumplings I thought would be harder as they have a not shape of a yoga mat. For my stage three was the design development. I did my monogram I chose and I in Illustrator I used the pen tool to trace it and then I simply went in with a colour and a fill of just a black and a white as I wanted to keep it quite simplistic. For my digital design development I had a lot of trouble with this. I first chose images that weren't high enough quality as it could be they became pixelated. I also found it difficult with Photoshop as I wasn't 100% confident with how to use the mask tool and how to put them both onto the same one and distort the image so it would fit. And that shows there in the image on the left. I then got another photo of a yoga mat and this one was better because it showed, it was higher quality and it showed a straight yoga mat without any feet or interruptions to the yoga mat. I chose this higher quality photo of a bento boss and I used a select the mask tool and traced it. And then I then put it onto the yoga mat and I used the reshaping tool and I shaped it to fit in there. I then went and added my logo down the bottom right on the right photo of my monogram, it's just small and simple. My final designs. This is my final self branding item. I was happy with it as I think it was a quirky take on a yoga mat. Um, yeah. This is my final logo, the white version, which I liked. This is my final logo, the black version. And this was the two next to each other. I personally liked the black one more as I felt it showed the shape of it and it would be more versatile in the real world to put onto products. My reflection. What did I enjoy, enjoy most about the Activity 2 work? My favourite part about this activity was the research stage. I like learning about what stylescapes were and how they can be useful in the research stage. I also enjoyed the brainstorm stage once I got my head around it as I felt it gave me a clear direction into the development stage of the activity. What were, if any, difficulties that you experienced in activity two? Some parts of the assignment I found difficult. I found the brainstorming hard before I was told how to properly use them. I also found the Photoshop stage hard as I felt I wasn't confident as I would have hoped. Honest critique. Are you happy with the logo you developed? to represent yourself. I'm confident my, that my logo represents myself as it is a shortened version of my name and the, styles, the style which it was used was a monogram which I felt used to illustrate my name and the style which I like and it shows the simplicity I appreciate in the design world. Do you think people in your chosen area of design would enjoy receiving your self-branding item? I do think people in my design area would love this product. In this instance, yoga mat users, which I am, and I'm also a person who loves Japanese food. They would enjoy it as, it appreciate, as they appreciate a healthy, active and fresh lifestyle. They would also see the quirkiness and humour of something you would be able to eat being used as a piece of yoga equipment. If you, do, if you could redo any part of this assignment, what do you think you would do differently? If I could think of redoing this assignment, I would have liked to ask for more help in the Photoshop part of my assignment, as I felt I could have made a more realistic final product. I struggled with understanding the tools and getting images that were high enough quality so they do not become distorted and fuzzy. Although I feel I have taught myself and learned a lot from doing this activity. Thanks.